Hello everybody. This is day 10 without the covert ex or the covert narcissist. And today has been a little bit better day. I just woke up this morning. I, I mean, it's usually around four o'clock or so, but and uh, I just decided, you know what? She's not even get today. Today is mine. I'm gonna enjoy it. It's nice out. And uh, fuck her. There's no sense in me letting her continue to win inside my head. Now tomorrow may be a different story. I don't know. I know this is going to be up and down for a while. And But today I've had a good day. I've uh, listened to a lot of uh, videos. Well, one of them was just Joe Rogan and uh, Henry Rollins. And there's an interview on a podcast. And, you know, Henry Rollins, man, he just rocks it. He just, you know, he's kind of inspiring dude. And it just made me think, you know, what... Why am I sitting here pissing my life away worrying about somebody that never even give a shit about me? And I mean, it, it just, that kind of uplifted me. But to start the day off, I just, I just decided, you know, I'm going to have a good day. And I've done everything I could to do it. I mean, this mood swings or anger coming out or whatever you want to call it, it's a bitch. But I'm 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 dealing with it day by day, and I'm sure some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just doing one day at a time, and I'm still looking to try to find some kind of group that I can fit into, where I can have someone to talk to, you know, face to face. I like I know about the online stuff, but to me, it's just not the same. I like the interaction with you know, face to face. I'm back. Got this trailer we can get in it. I just gotta wait on the carpet guys to come and AC guys to come and then we're in. The court's the 13th of this month. And I'm hoping that it goes my way. I, I, I'm trying to be positive about it. It's all you can do and not worry about it. I think that's a lot of my problem is I sit and I worry. I get inside my own head because that's what I've been conditioned to do is just constantly fucking worry. I'm not a trained monkey and I don't want to be one anymore. And I know this is going to be a long, hard road. And uh, that's pretty much all about today. You know, I'm enjoying it. But uh, I erased the video, dude, the other day that Ian wanted about, you know, the feminine stuff. What I was basically saying is when we got together, I was the masculine one and she was the feminine one. And she needed me to do things for her and I, I stepped in and became uh, more feminine you know because she was molested and I'm not putting anybody down that was what I'm saying is she played it up to a point that she used it instead of trying to heal from it she used it and uh so I, you know you feel sorry for people like that you wish they didn't have to feel that way and so I got more in touch with the feminine side of me because as a guy for one, it just straight pisses you the fuck off to hear about anybody having to go through anything like that. If you're a normal individual. And I mean, that's masculine and you just want to go and rip somebody's throat out. And the feminine, to me, is the more nurturing and caring kind of side. And everyone has that. Men and women both have both sides. It's just, there, there's a balance that needs to be fought or sought. And... uh over time, she took more of the masculine role and put me more in the feminine role. And I was just constantly trying to be a caretaker to her. I mean, it got to the point to where I was raising her. And I, on a lot of them recordings I have, I'm like, why are you acting this way? You're a grown-ass woman. Why do I have to tell you these things? Or why do I have to ask you for these? Well, I'm kind of... Meander and meandering off, whatever. But uh, that's kind of what I'm referring to. I got more in the feminine role, and once I did, she became the dominant one in the relationship. And uh, she had it. That was control, and I would say that that probably took over about maybe a year in. It's been 
inside. That's why I liked my job so much, because you know I could go to work and be a guy. I could hang around these other guys, we'd cuss and spit and scratch our junk and say what the fuck we wanted. Didn't have to worry about anything like that. But at home, you know, I had to be behaved. Because she was head of household. I mean, it's the way it was. And to me personally, whenever I've been in a relationship, I've always thought that, not to be sexist or anything, I hope no one takes offense to it, but that as a man, there are certain things that men do. And as a woman, there are certain things women do. And it's not because we can't do those things, it's just that sex is better at them. Men are not the best of listeners. Women tend to listen more. And that's why a lot of wives are like, you never listen to me. It's not that we can, it's just, you know, it's just not, men don't do that very well. I don't know if I'm making sense or not, but there's just a lot of things that she did that took over the masculine role and made me subservient to her and, and her children. I mean, our children, our children together, but mainly her own biological children because my biological children were subservient to their her children and you know honestly I just I've always went into a relationship thinking you know it's gonna be 50 50 we, we're both gonna work equally at it we're both after the same damn goal and we're gonna be a team but they're in a relationship like with what I've had and a lot of you guys have had there is no 50 50 you're the one constantly giving 99 and they're doing that 1%, and that 1% is the love bombing. It's just words. It's easy talk. And that's, that's all it was. And that's something that's been on my mind today is, you know, when we go to court, I wish I could say something to try to talk to those people, but my, my lawyer is just going to go up there and do her little spiel, and it's going to be over in a few minutes, more than likely. But I know if I got up there, I wouldn't know how to explain it to somebody who's never been through it. And I just think that that's, that's a pretty sad thing that, you know, the system's the way it is. It's not just, it's not fair, it's not even, I don't even know how they can have justice on the front of the building. Our homes are what is the foundation of this country and of the world. And if your home is fucked up, then everything in that society is going to be fucked up. This country represents the way our life is, and look at, look at it, it's divided as shit. Everybody hates everybody. Everybody's got a reason that they're not good enough, or they don't like that guy, or it should be this way, or we need more rights. How about everybody just be kind and be understanding and work toward the goal of getting the fuck along? I think if we did that, we could probably make something happen, but... I don't know. And that's kind of cool because, you know, I haven't really been thinking about anything like that in a while. And I used to like to just sit and think about shit like that. And I will be glad to when I can do that. Well, I am doing it. I'm going to start doing it. But I'm going to also have to start figuring out some other stuff because the past two years of my 14-year marriage has been spent trying to understand what the hell is going on because prior to that i thought it was me i was told it was me for 14 years i've been doing everything i could to possibly do to make this relationship work and the last two i've been trying to figure out well if it's not me what the fuck is going on and i i can't really pinpoint what got me onto it i know i looked up something about uh am i the bad one in the relationship and it started talking about relationships, and it started talking about toxic relationships, and it just started talking about how the symptoms were, of it are. And it's been a two-year expedition of every, everything since, you know. I've, I've just... It, it, and like they say, if you're looking for that, it's not you. Because <laughs> these people, they don't give a shit. There's no need for them to look for it. No need for them to learn about it unless you get wise to it. And I did make that mistake. I let her know that I, I suspected her of being... 
fucked up in the head. And you know what? That's the only thing I've seen her take great offense to. That was the worst insult that I ever gave that woman. I mean, in anger, I've told her, you know, you're a bitch a few times. And I, I deeply regret it because I don't think any woman should be told that. But I also don't think any man should be called a dick or an ass. And I was several damn times, you know. And uh, I guess that's about it for the day. You know, I'm just going to finish enjoying my day. I got a little bit more stuff to do in here. And I'm going to go in here and finish it up. And I'm gonna, once my daughter gets home from school, I'm going to spend some time with her before I have to take off to go sleep in my friend's apartment for the night. But I appreciate you guys checking this video out and watching them and stuff because it does let me know that I'm not alone. Whether you comment, share, or like it, you know, that's all up to you. But it does let me know that I'm not alone. That there are other people out there still searching and still hurting. And I swear, I'm going to do what I can to figure out how to start helping people. I may not be able to do it locally, but if each one of us does something regionally, I mean, not locally, but I may not be able to do nothing nationwide, but if we start locally and start spreading the word and start coming together and start finding these things out, we can change it. It's the same thing as the woman's lib and uh, MGTOW that I've learned a little bit about. You know, they're just movements. They're people who are tired of stuff, and I'm tired of hearing about and living through this kind of shit. There is no sense for any kind of abuse at all. Man abusing woman, woman abusing man, there's no sense in it. In no form. And it's always unacceptable to ever abuse a child in any way. But guys, try to come together, man. We all gotta start locally and we gotta start building up from here. And if you if if it's not in you right now, then you know just keep that in mind. Set that as a little goal, you know, a long term goal. Because I know it's mine. I'm not going to get there right away. I'm going to do it day by day. And as long as I'm remembering the pain that I was put through, that's my goal. And whenever I achieve that goal, I'm still going to have that pain. But it's not going to be a pain. It's going to be a memory of the pain. Because I'm not going to let this woman ruin the rest of my life. If my life ends tomorrow, I still had it today.